Hey friend, let's talk about some keyboards, ergonomic ones. As a full-time video editor, I needed some help with my wrists. They were fine until they weren't. I was using this Apple keyboard for forever, and I love it because it's so small and slender. You just throw it into a bag, it's, there's nothing to it. But I needed to separate my hands, get a little more ergonomic like this, and then I also kind of wanted to like open my wrists up. And I wanted it to be a simple, good-looking design. I wanted it to be easy to move. I wanted it to be Bluetooth, no cords, and have a battery that lasted forever. All right, so first of all, there was this one from iClever. I is, I is pretty clever. I think it, it, it turns off. It's like a little bit of a magnetic thing, and you open it up. You know, this reminds me of the old Palm Pilot. Got a little USB-C port for charging. This was surprisingly good, and I could even get a little something underneath to get a little bit of that of that wrists opening up like that. But this worked pretty dang good. I actually like little tiny short throw keys, but it's not quite enough of a separation. For the budget pick, this is actually better than nothing. One more but is that there's just a little bit of wonky stuff with the Apple keyboard. For example, you have to hit function to get the escape to work and as you know someone I'm, I'm using escape all the time you know anyways depending on how you're operating your computer with your keyboard there could be some funky things but this was the first place to look maybe this solves all your problem and it's super easy to move the battery has lasted so long it's not been that bad then it was the microsoft keyboard which i gotta admit i love this thing actually it's so comfortable and nice even though i can't separate it like even more than than just this it's set into place it does have this removable it's magnetic slightly like nice little magnetic that brings it up and that just feels so freaking nice it is a Microsoft keyboard, so you'll have to use a little bit of tomfoolery to change your keys around uh, on Mac to make the Alt key the Command key. I love the negative slope on this. See how it kind of slopes down? That ends up being a huge, like immediately a huge release on that riff there. Did I say release on the riff when I wanted to say re relief on the wrist? There is no backlight on these keys, so typing in the dark is super, why are you typing in, in the dark? Now this Microsoft uses a little dongle like this, but we have two triple A's in here. And this little guy down below can come off like a little too easily. Like you may just want to super glue that sucker on. And it's easy to move around the house, but it's not something you can really put in your bag very well because you have this hump, but I mean, you could do it. You could. You could show up at the coffee shop, freaking Leroy. No, this thing is awesome, actually. Gosh, I love this thing. Okay, so it like just has this feeling that it's gonna get gross over time. It has a feeling that it's not gonna feel nice for a very long time. You just can tell, and it's, it wasn't like super cost prohibitive, if I remember correct. So maybe you just have like a handful of these. Okay, now it was time for this one from Matthias. All right, now, admittedly, this is the one that I have worked with the most at this point now. I've just kind of committed to this for a few reasons. So we've got the hand split and we can orient this however we want. I mean, I could have my arms all the way out like this probably, but that may, would, would put my mouse like in the middle. So I wanna try, I kinda wanna try that. <laughs> the mouse in the middle, like. That gets me excited. The palm rest is nice. There is a heft to this thing. Look at these screws that are holding this thing together, right? This just holds the palm rest on. This does not feel like the kind of thing that gets all gummy and, and funky as fast as the, as the Microsoft one. USB micro for this connection right here to a USB, like this is a bummer. Bummer whole cable thing. I mean, this thing feels like it's from the past. It definitely has this feeling of like something you found in a box in your parents' attic or something. It feels like office furniture, you know, like actual office stuff. Just doesn't feel like home consumer goods, you know? It's like this is this belongs under, you know, hanging ceiling and fluorescent lights. It's a Mac keyboard, so the where keys are makes more sense. It also has like 
undo, cut, copy, paste, these sorts of things, like a blank key over here. The arrows are nicer for me than the Microsoft one because these indents right here, you can tell exactly where, where you are uh, on the arrow thing. Stuff like that really matters, especially when you're, when you're switching to a keyboard like this. That, that's, what I, that's one of the things I learned, is switching to a new keyboard that has a different orientation. It's gonna activate some neural pathways. There's these feet on the bottom. You can get this set up so that it's, it's a little more angled. You could do this where it is slightly that's, that's the way that I have this one, where it's slightly angled out like that. Here's the deal about, about these. Like, they are so writerly. You just, you feel like writing something long form. You feel like, whoa, I could, I could do some serious damage with this as a writer, as like a, a writer person. These feel like writing keyboards, for sure. I think that's part of why I stuck with them also because of it's just like general bomb proof sort of robust feeling and kind of professional vibe, I guess. I don't know. But writing on this, if you're waking up in the morning, doing your morning pages, typing it out, you're going to love it. Have you ever had a keyboard that made you want to write? Like, ooh, 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 I want to write something. <laughs> this is that. It's probably been like two, two months since I've played with this then, used this one. And the moment I set it up, I was like, oh. So if you just need a Band-Aid, like this, if you if the portability, it, it's kind of fine. Like it, it kind of makes a difference, just the, that the wrist to be split a little bit. This was surprisingly good. And I think you could easily get a year out of it, but it might look, it might look kind of funky. And I like the, the throws. If you're on a Mac, it's, there is gonna be some little like Rrr. This one is more expensive, but it does feel like so that's my take. What others should I look at? What's your idea? God, I miss this thing, but I just can't do it. I, right there, right there, whatever that is, whatever that tendon is. And we can do a lot of, of therapies to, to get that to work more. Welcome to middle age, bro. If this was useful for you, please use my links below. I'll link to everything with affiliate links where I'm able to. So at no cost to you, it supports the channel and puts food on the table for my kids. And, and if I can, I'll get a discount like associated with those links. Other than that, happy typing and, uh, you know, be safe uh, with your ergonomics of, of your setup because, you know, that blinking cursor on a blank page can really make us sort of crazy. Just like hunch in. Bye.